Hello friends, this is Colleen with YarnWars.com and today we're doing a tutorial on the Archways Infinity Scarf. Um, it's the one that is seen in the picture at the beginning of the video. There is a written pattern for this which can be found on the YarnWars.com website or um, you can also download and print the PDF. That is available on the Yarn Wars group at www.facebook.com slash groups slash yarn wars. So let's get started with this fun, fancy, pretty dress wear scarf. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, more of a dress scarf. I am using a lighter weight yarn. I'm using for this one, uh, the one that I just showed you, we use the ice cream. I use the ice cream. And let me just get down here. I did a little unwind, unwinding here. Uh, cookies and cream. We are obviously not using this for baby, but a great um, yarn to maybe work with this as well would be the Unforgettable Red Heart yarn. Um, or just a lighter weight yarn, something that makes it a little more dressy, a little less winter wear. But it can be made, obviously, for a winter or just a cozy, toasty warm scarf, but the purpose of it is more of a dress wear scarf. So I'm using a K hook. I don't know if you could see that or not. Um, the K hook is one I don't use a lot of in my patterns, but um, that's a 6.5 millimeter hook. You'll want scissors and just a blunt needle um, to hide in a couple of tails, that's all. Unless you're doing a lot of different colors with this and then you'll be hiding in more than just a couple of tails. All right. Jumping right into this, the first thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot. And the best way to do that is just to fold that in half Put your yarn up the back, your working yarn, and just grab it with the hook. Put your hook right through it like that and pull the two tails, or two ends. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Now this is not gonna be as long as um, a lot of the scarves that you normally make. Um, this one we start with 13 chains, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So our total stitch count is going to be 12 through this whole project. You can either work straight into that second chain from the hook, not the first, but the second one, or you could flip it over here and work into the spines. And I've shown a video on this before of how you can kind of make your ends a little cleaner rather than have that little loop chain to start. So I'm going to go ahead and work in on the back of this and we're going to start like I said, into the second chain from the hook, which would be this if you're working right into the second, and we're gonna work double, half double crochets into each stitch down. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna work the spine area. It's a little tight to get started, but um, that's the nice thing with just having the 12 stitches on this project, is that each row is gonna go super fast. So we're just going into each of these spines half double if you're not familiar is just yarn over go into your stitch yarn over and then you're going to pull through all three loops on your hook so we're just getting down this and your starting chain is always going to be the most painful part of the project just because you got that little flimsy, loose piece to work. Okay. 
right there. And we have finished with our first row, half double crochets. So if you're familiar with the um, half double crochet foundation, you can do that as well. Just do thir or 12 of those. And now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work. Working into this first stitch here, we are going to yarn over. We're going to work a cluster. So what we're going to do is go in, yarn over and pull through. Hold those three loops on your hook and yarn over again. Go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now we have five loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and do this one more time. Pull through, so we have seven loops on our hook. We'll yarn over, pull through all seven of those loops on your hook. And then we're going to yarn over, go back into that stitch and create a double crochet. And that completes one of our cluster stitches there. So now we're going to skip our next stitch and we're going to come into this next one and we're going to create another cluster. Yarn over and pull through once. Yarn over and pull through twice. And yarn over and pull through three times. And then yarn over and pull through all seven loops on that hook. Yarn over. Work a double crochet. So this is really easy, a lot of yarn overs, as I say in here, so that could confuse that a little bit, but um, you're going to continue doing this down the row. You're going to skip this next one. You're going to work another cluster into this. We'll do one more before I let you just go ahead and complete this one on your own. Going through all, yarn over, and double crochet. Skip work another cluster. So continue this till you get to the last two. Oops, I'm sorry. Almost started work a double crochet there. Go in, pull through, in, pull through, and I will meet you when we get to those last two. Actually, we only have two more left to go, so let's go ahead and finish that. So we have so far four clusters in this row. You'll have a total of six when we're finished. Okay. So that double crochet is you pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. I'll slow that down on the last one for a beginner. So for we've reached the last, we're going to skip this one and then we've got two more stitches here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work the cluster into this stitch and then we're going to work our double into this stitch. We'll span that over two stitches. So we're going to go ahead and start our cluster here. pull through all, and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to work our double crochet into our last, which is yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So we've just kind of worked that last cluster and we've spanned it over the last two stitches. And we go one, two, three, four, five, and six total clusters in this round. Here's how it looks on this side. Pretty, huh? So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to work a half double crochet into every stitch down this row. Work one into each stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through all three loops every stitch. So do this all the way down to the end and we will meet to work the next row. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this row 
and we have one more stitch to make. Don't forget this stitch on top or right over next to your cluster, but it appears to be almost on top of your cluster, right there. So just make sure that when you've completed each round or row, that you have 12 stitches at the end of each. All right, so we are gonna do one more row of our clusters. So we're gonna chain two, turn our work, we'll work a cluster into that same stitch, that first stitch I mean, and down into each, and we'll end it the same way. You'll span over the two stitches at the end, your cluster and your double crochet. So we'll skip and cluster, skip and cluster. Complete this row and I will meet you at the end of this row to start our next. So we're coming into the end of the cluster round, our second cluster round, and um, just wanted to go through the last one again just to reiterate that we are going to work our last cluster over these last two stitches. So we'll actually work our cluster part in this second from last. And then we'll yarn over and work our double crochet into this last stitch here. All right. And so we have this. Now for our arches. For this, uh, well actually, nope, we've got one more. We're gonna chain one and we are gonna work double crochets down the line. So we're gonna keep a clean look to this with our half double crochets, excuse me. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna quickly work down the line another row of half double crochets. If my yarn doesn't want to stay over. So we have completed our half double crochet row. I have very chapped hands, so I do apologize. I'm sticking to everything. For our next row, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll go ahead and or turn our work. Working in not to the first, but to the second this time, we're gonna work a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go into our stitch, yarn over and pull through, then we're going to yarn over and pull through two, and we'll yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, and then we're going to skip a stitch. We are going to, excuse me, chain one, skip a stitch, and then we'll work a double crochet into this next stitch. and skip, double, skip, double. You want to chain after each double crochet to make up for the one that we are skipping. Continue down the row and I will see you in just a bit at the end. Okay, so here is what your scarf should look like after this row of double crochets. And for our next row, we will chain one, turn your work, we're going to work one or two half double crochets into each of our chain spaces down the row. So we'll yarn over, go right into that space there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we'll make another one right into that same space. So we have two half double crochets made. 
Then we're gonna just continue all the way down the line. We'll have a total of 12 half double crochets made. Two in each chain space down to the very last space. Continue this row and I will meet you In our last chain space, we'll have two, one, and two. So we have just completed our archways. And it's going to actually look like more of an archway as you wear it, and you've got the weight of the scarf. So for our next round, we've done our half double crochets. We're actually kind of going back to this. We are going back to this. Um, we're gonna go back to our cluster round, our half double crochet, our cluster round, our half double crochet, and then we'll do another row of our archways. So I will go ahead and we'll run through one more round of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, for the people who are following this strictly on the video and not with a written pattern, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some details in the description area. Um, I will also put a link to where you can find um, the pattern either on our website or through um, the Facebook group. And that way, if you want to work this, and follow along with the video in certain areas, you can absolutely do that as well. So let's just jump back over. We're now working, we're gonna go um, with a chain two now and turn our work. And starting into that first stitch there, we're gonna start our cluster round again. So we're up one, two, and three times, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and double crochet into that same stitch that we made our cluster in. So the double crochet is going right into that cluster stitch. And then we're skipping the next stitch and working into this one, another cluster round, or another cluster. Yarn over and pull through all. Skip the next, work into here. And a double crochet after that cluster. Skip. And this scarf actually worked really fast. But I do also want to get into this video. Um, I won't be doing the entire scarf in the video, obviously. You're going to be repeating some rounds here. Um, but I do want to get to the closure part so that you can see how nice of a closure we have so that your infinity scarf is an infinity scarf, in fact and um, we can make it really nice so that you can barely tell. I got a little caught up here, sorry guys. <clears throat> Have some knotting in my yarn. So um, you just continue with this cluster and I have a feeling I'm gonna be clipping off and rejoining here. Nope, I'm not. Probably not the most ideal way to take care of that, but um, and we'll work our last two stitches, that last cluster, like we we talked about in, early on in the video. So cluster in this stitch and double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, and then a chain one, turn your work, half double crochet into each stitch, starting from your first stitch, each stitch down the row. For a total of 12 stitches at the end, Okay. 
and that one right there on top of that cluster, or close to the top of that cluster, our last stitch. And this is where we are so far. So we've worked our half double crochets. Next, we're going to chain two, turn our work, starting into that very first space right there, work our first cluster in this round or row, and uh, do another cluster row. After the cluster row, we're going to work another half double crochet row, which is just chain one at the beginning. So go ahead and continue your cluster row. When you get to the end, don't forget to work your last cluster of those last two stitches. You'll chain one, turn your work, work an, one half double crochet down each of these, and when we finish the half double crochet row, I'll come back and we'll do the arch row one more time. So we have completed, um, we left off working this row of clusters and then we chained one and we came back down the row with a row of half double crochets. Your project is looking like this, very pretty. And we are back to our archways. So what we're going to do here is, again, we will chain four, one, two, three, four, turn the work, you're always turning it towards you there, not into this first stitch but into the next stitch we're going to work our double crochet. So yarn over into that stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two, and then chain one. Skip your next stitch working into this next one, we're going to work another double crochet and a chain one. Skip, double, chain one. Skip, double, oops, chain one, skip, double, chain one, skip, and double. Okay. And again, we will chain one to start our next row. So once we finish our row of double crochets, our archway row, we're going to chain one, turn our project, and work two half double crochets into each chain space. Remember, you're working into the chain space, not into particular stitch. So right in that space there, working two, right down the line. There's four. Six. Oops. Eight. and our last two makes 12. So we have 12 stitches. Just remember 12 stitches down the line. So we've completed this and we are starting again with our cluster row. So basically you're going to work your two rows of clusters. We've got a half double crochet row here to start. Then we have a cluster row and then we follow that with a half double crochet row. So half double crochet is our, um, that's the one repeating component to this pattern through each of our different um, rows. So after each row, you're gonna create a row of half double crochets. So half, half double crochets, cluster, half double crochet, cluster, half double crochet, archway or double crochet row half double crochet, cluster, half double crochet, cluster, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. So as you see, after each row, you know that you need to make another row of half double crochets. So you'll work this pattern by completing your two clusters, two rounds of clusters 
and then a half double crochet before you make your archway. And you'll continue this throughout until you reach the desired length. Now the desired length, you want it to be, and this one is pretty long here, you want it to be pretty long so that you could wrap it twice. And if you're using a thinner yarn, which was kind of the intention of this pattern, to use a thin yarn, um, and I steamed this too, so it's laying a little, it's a little flimsier, which I actually like, but um, you want to be able to wrap it around your neck twice to give it that real infinity look, a little fuller of a look, um, a dress look. But um, just continue doing what you're doing here. And when you finish, we'll come back and I will show you. Um, I'm not going to do a full length one for the video so that I can show you the closure on the video um, to seem, put, seem the two together, the two ends together. Um, there's a really nice way to do that. So we'll come back and I'll show you that in a little bit once you've um, worked up everything and uh, we'll finish up then. So pause this and remember you can look below in the description for either links to the pattern you can print out. I'm also going to put each row in the description so that if you are only working with the video you don't have to go and find the pattern elsewhere. See you in just a little bit. So I've gone ahead and just worked one more set here after our archways because I want to go ahead and show you how we can close this nicely together, give you a real seam, a nice seam to finish this project. So we're going to get back in here. You want to turn it so that the right side, the nice side, is going to be on the inside. And we're going to work where we finished off here because you're going to want to go ahead and end with a double crochet or a half double crochet round. Make sure that you end not with a cluster, not with a double crochet, but end with a half double crochet round because it'll just make it easier all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm not going to chain, but I'm going to come into the same space here. Now as you see our stitches right here are on top and then we have this little um, back part to our stitch that's actually looks like it could be the stitch if we came up this way but it's not. So we want to come up through this and through just this front loop of the actual stitch. So the other part of the stitch is right there. So we're coming through this part facing you and the front loop only of our stitch. And then we're going to come in to our first stitch over here. We're going to come into just Sorry, just the back loop of that. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all of those loops on the hook. All of them. And we're going to continue down the row doing this. We're coming into that part of the stitch facing you that is not the stitch and the front loop of that stitch come up through there we're going into our next stitch back loop only and this is going to work well back loop only if you just use the regular chain see I use the back of the stitch this or the back of the chain I use the spine to start out my round but it'll work better this way for that if you do it through the spine in your starting chain and we're just double or we're just doing a slip stitch down this whole thing but you just want to do that work that down the line through the entire way coming into that back yarn over through and through back in 
back in here into there and into that back loop there yarn over and pull through all of those so we're doing this all the way down the line till you get to the end continue and then I will meet you once we're at the end of this so that we can just compare so we have our last stitch here we're going to come up through the back and the front loop and then the back loop only of that last one all right so we have finished off our seam and if we flip this the other way once you've closed this off that's going to be tightened so this is all that you're going to see it's going to be nice all the way across I don't have this last stitch tightened here but it's a really nice clean seam so um, you know you can also just stitch it closed however you like but this will give you just a real clean um, a seam that you won't notice people aren't going to see that and notice that that's where your closure is and that's what it looks like from the inside so um, go ahead and finish up your work 